with meteorologist Julie Henricks. Good morning. We've got a quiet start to the day today compared to yesterday, but it is a cooler start out there. Temperatures this morning across the area are about 10 degrees cooler than where we were yesterday at this time. So we begin the day in the 40s versus the near 60 readings. And again, you can see that 44 in Crawfordsville, 49 in Robinson, a few 50s to the south down in Vincennes, it's 51, but it is noticeably cooler as we start the day today. On the satellite and radar, again, and nothing out there. We've got all of that energy that has moved off to the east, well through the Ohio Valley this morning. Maybe a few high thin clouds starting to filter in, but really it is going to be a quiet day for us. Just a lot of cloud cover. I don't think we're going to get a lot of breaks in the clouds today, maybe a few, but we'll be turning our attention out to the west here now. This upper level low is going to be a real focus for us Thursday, Friday, and maybe into the start of the weekend as well. As we look at our water vapor satellite. Boy, it does a really good job of enhancing what's going on with this energy. As you can see that counterclockwise spin and you can see all of that moisture starting to stream back in. The darker shading that we have now, which is the drier air, will quickly move off to the east and we'll start to fill back in the atmosphere with moisture setting the stage for rain. Today, as we said, clouds. I think we'll keep a lot of them around. Maybe a few breaks here or there later today. Overnight tonight, we'll still keep clouds around. Then on Thursday, here comes that next rain. We'll have one piece of energy come through that will be, I think, the bulk of it through mid-afternoon and early evening. That's when we anticipate maybe some heavy downpours with the rain that will roll through over the next 48 hours. You can see what happens on Thursday and into Friday. We're talking about some areas maybe picking up more than an inch of rain. So I do think this system will have with it the possibility of some brief heavy downpours. That'll be the attention we turn toward Thursday and Friday, then the weekend and early next week. Again, we've been watching some of the coolest of air stay north of the area today. Slightly cooler again than average, but not too bad. We'll still be in the 60s today. We'll be slightly cooler on Thursday and Friday, but boy, by the weekend and next week, look what happens. We're talking through the middle of next week, a strong southerly flow in here that could put us at near record temperatures by the start of next week. That's what we'll be focused on. That's what we'll be talking about even as we talk about rain for the end of the week. I think that's really what folks are going to be putting their energy toward is plans for the being outside early next week. Today, if you're outside, it's going to be cooler than yesterday and it's going to be cloudy for the most part today. 64 for the high. Overnight tonight, lows will fall back down to about 52, so uh, not as cool as this morning. Then we go through the day tomorrow, starting dry, but rain chances are going to increase pretty quickly through the course of the afternoon and evening. Showers and thunderstorms still possible on Friday as well. Right now, I think the bulk of rain with that upper system will get out of here early on Saturday. I think Saturday will be a more cloudy day than Mother's Day when we'll be partly sunny with 76. And then look at those readings for Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. The record for Tuesday is 90 degrees. Shelby, you may have wished us into hitting a 90 degree mark as we talked yesterday. You're ready for some warm temperatures. Looking forward to it.